Hey everyone, welcome back. I have something a little bit different for you today. As you might know, if you've watched this channel for a while, Noble Gold has been a strong supporter of this channel for years now. And from what I hear, many of you are very interested in gold investments, but don't really know anything about it. So if that sounds like you, stick around because joining us right now to discuss gold investments is the CEO of Noble Gold, Colin Plume. Hey, Colin, welcome. Hey, thank you. Yeah, no, happy to be on the show. And uh, yeah, no, I, I think what you were saying about uh, gold is, is, is right, because I think before, you know, you get into anything new, you learn about an alternative investment, it does, it does take some, some education. And that's really what Noble Gold is, has really focused on is giving people the education about what we do. Um, and, and it's different, right? It's different than your typical mutual fund. It's different than buying bonds. It's, it's a, it's, it is an alternative investment. Um, uh, and yes, I think during these times with heavy inflation and, you know, all the things happening with our dollar, getting it in an alternative makes a lot of sense, but obviously there, you have to start from somewhere. And that's really what we focus on is, is teaching people about physical metals what we do and, and how it's different than some of the other investments that are out there. Right. And that's one of the reasons I like working with you guys. You, you have that guide that people can, they can call and get a guide and you, uh, everybody that works at Noble Gold is super helpful. I've heard already from some of my viewers. Um, and so I, I think, uh, what a lot of people are wondering is, is with inflation is as bad as it is right now. The buying economy is roaring with a uh, 8.5% inflation, right now and they're wanting to know how you know with with that kind of inflation how can they use gold uh to to in order to maybe hedge against that yeah and, and i think you know most people would argue inflation is probably higher than eight and a half percent you know because they do they do take out a lot of things that we buy day to day and into those inflation numbers and you know, I, I I said it, you know, for years when they kind of had inflation at 2%, that it was always much higher than the 2% number um, that they always reported. But, you know, I, I think what, what people are looking at today is 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 what's happening in the market, what's happening with dollar, and, and why gold could be a good fit for the portfolio. Um, now, most investments, including gold and silver this year, have had a rough year. Stock markets had a rough year. Gold and silver have had a rough year because the dollar has gotten really strong. I mean, it's it's unusually strong. Um, even the pound um, has recently just been just completely crushed uh, by what we're doing here with the dollar. So it, I know the Fed, what their attempt is, is to slow down inflation, uh, but it's made our dollar very strong. It's made our goods overseas very expensive. And there's a ripple effect to that, too. So. Uh, a lot of people are wondering how long this this uh, heavy uh, Fed is going to continue to push rates up, um, and and it's affecting a lot of markets. You have, you know, obviously the home uh, market is having is down. You know, it's it's going to continue to be down because, you know, mortgages are at a rate that are are a rate we haven't seen in in you know probably close to 20, 25 years. Home mortgages are in the six and a half percent range. So the amount you can borrow has really re had a big reduction. So home prices are going to have have some big pullbacks. So you're really the whole economy economy right now is in a place we haven't seen in a long time. I mean, I think most people don't even remember seeing uh, interest rates this high. So it, it's a good time to look at some different options, look at some hedges, uh, and see if maybe there's something different you can do. Which is a big part of what we do is people. You know that want to get away from the stock market or want to diversify um, can put some of their assets in. in uh, we do physical gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and and you know I'm glad I'm here to sort of explain because some of the people, well, what am I buying? Am I buying a stock? Do, do I hold? Does Noble Gold hold your gold or silver? And we don't. We don't. We're not a stock. We're not leveraged. You are actually buying the physical asset, which is great because. You know, the, the ownership, it, it, everything is yours and you never have to worry about anything happening with, you know, any company out there because you're actually physically buying the asset. And, and you know, uh, Ryan, there's so few assets out there that you actually own by yourself, right? Yeah. You buy a stock or a mutual fund 
or you buy pretty much any investment out there, you're just buying a share of something or a part of something. Uh, mm -hmm. The gold and silver is actually something you can own by yourself, control it by yourself. And I think that gives people a lot of comfort uh, that they actually have an asset that's actually theirs. Right. And you, you kind of touched on this, but what kind of gold do you guys sell? Because I know there's yeah. lots of different. Yeah. So, so there's, you know, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of coins um, and there's, you know, coins that are rare coins that have, you know, been around for thousands of years. And actually an interesting story, there was the, the most expensive coin ever sold about two months ago. Um, it's a 1933 gold eagle. Um, and basically what happened was quickly um, they stopped allowing gold to be used day to day. And so the U.S. Mint was still minting these $20 gold coins so they said, put these gold coins back in the vault and we'll melt them down later. And what happened was a number of these coins got stolen. And actually the Secret Service was, I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but the Secret Service was actually looking for those coins from 1933 until they hit auction about 10, 11 years ago. And they hit auction in Europe. And basically the coin, this specific gold eagle coin originally sold for, I think, five or six million dollars. And the U.S. government sued and basically said, that coin is our coin. We, it was stolen from us. <laughs> um, and, and so they went to court over this. Really interesting story. They ended up winning, but, they, but the buyer basically won too. And then they said, well, the buyer, it wasn't the buyer's fault. So they had to split the value of the coin. They resold it again for $8 million. So they sold it, made a few million more. Then that coin just sold two months ago for almost 19 million dollars it's, it's a one ounce gold uh, uh 20 dollars gold piece called the double eagle very beautiful coin uh so it's the most expensive coin that's ever sold at auction and almost 19 million dollars so you know there are those coins out there what we do is we kind of push away all the noise for our investors and really get them into things that have the most bang for their buck which is which is bullion coins and bars that's where you're going to get the most value there are a lot of these coins and, and listen for this investor, you know, that bought it at 8 million and flipped it for 19 million. They did great. But for the, the regular American that's not watching this market, you know, we get them into the physical bullion coins and bars. Uh, we source them from all over the world, but we get the highest weight and the highest purity. And because of the large volume we do, we really get the prices down uh, to some unbelievable prices. And that's really what we talk about with our clients is getting the most value and, and the most bang for their buck, whether they're buying gold, silver, platinum or palladium. Um, that's really what we focus on at Noble Gold Investments. OK, and yeah. And, and speaking of coins, people who do contact you and are able to start an IRA, you guys do give free coins, some really cool coins. This particular one is silver, uh, but I, I can't even imagine how many of these you guys have given out to our viewers. Um, but that is another plus to just reaching out and talking to you guys um yeah absolutely and, and we always give away a, a free coin every month whether it's uh the three ounce that's a, an american virtue coin that they only made they made less than two thousand of those coins and we bought all of them so those coins are exclusive uh to people that invest with noble gold investments but we you know we change we have different promotions going on sometimes it's a one tenth ounce gold american eagle depending yeah. on the month uh, but ultimately, what we really focus on is the education and also being with the, the client for the life of, of their IRA. So what, what a lot of people are finding now with financial firms, unless you got $250,000 or more, they don't even want your account. Some of the big firms, they, you have a 401k, you know, old 401k of 40000 They're not even interested in you anymore. We, we don't uh, discriminate with any dollar amount. Uh, we, we get people in, you know, that obviously we, we, we help people that need education on this stuff. But the nice thing about us is once you buy gold and silver, you're a client for life. And we're here to answer questions for you about what happens or, you know, let's say you do an IRA two years ago and you call us back and you have a question. We're here to, to answer those questions. And um, so that's a really big, important part of the process. And, and I think what you said about, you know, clients or people that have been referred by the show you know, customer service is is paramount. Uh, go look at our reviews online, check out our company. But that's really, whether we sell gold or silver or anything, but the most important thing is our clients are happy and we really focus on that 
uh, day to day is making sure the client satisfaction is is top notch, and that's and that's really important to me as the owner of the company. And that's, I, I, I wouldn't just work with any sponsor. I looked into you guys and I did see that uh, you're ranked number one and, and a couple different um, uh, uh, publications. And I thought that was awesome. And you guys uh, are very helpful. Uh, you were more than willing to come on and talk to me about all this, which I really appreciate. And I think that my viewers will see that and realize that, hey, these are some people that can really help me. Uh, and in that regard, as far as like tax advantages uh, mm. for clients that they could expect uh, with a Roth as opposed to like a traditional IRA? Yeah. So, um, a, a Roth IRA means that when you put the money in the, in that year, you don't get the tax advantage that you would get with a traditional IRA. So for instance, I'm just going to use, let's say you make $50,000 a year. If you do a traditional IRA and you, let's say you put $5,000 in your IRA, your taxable income goes from 50000 to 45000 in a traditional IRA, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get that tax advantage that year, right? But in a traditional, when you take the money out at retirement, you're going to get taxed on the money. So that, you know, all, those co all that compound growth that you're going to have in the IRA with a traditional IRA, you'll get taxed. So if you start taking money out, once you turn 59 and a half years old and older, you can start taking the money out without any penalties, but in a traditional, you have taxes to pay. In a Roth, if you put 5,000 in, you don't get the tax advantage that year, but when it grows down, down the ride and, and, and you're in 59 and a half, you wanna start taking it out, you don't pay any taxes on the growth. So it really just depends what your philosophy is. You know, most people do have a traditional, but if you, if you have an option and you're starting out, uh, I think the Roth, in my opinion, is probably a better option because I think most people believe taxes will be higher, you know, later on down the road. So right. yeah, you know, almost that. guaranteed. Yeah. And so that's something that people can call and talk to your experts about. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're not tax and, advisors. I'm just giving you a, you know, kind of a high level uh, overview of how that works. Um, but that's in essence how a traditional and, and a Roth are, are, are sort of set up. And then, you know, the other way, you know, people can just buy from us directly. They can just buy and get the gold and silver directly delivered to their house. Uh, we ship it out in a nondescript package. We call you with the tracking numbers to make sure it gets there. And we have a full team that's doing that. It's one of the unique things about us is that we really make sure that when the package goes out, we call, we follow up with you, and we make sure that you get that gold and silver in your hands. Obviously, everything is insured, but we really make sure that we get it all the way to you. And, you know, it's important. You know, some of these packages are obviously very valuable. Yeah. Um, and, and no one around you is going to know your neighbors aren't going to know they're not going to know what it is in the package um, but we really make sure that the metals get all the way to your door to your doorstep safely yeah and one of the great things about gold is it's tangible like you said earlier it's, it's something that you can physically hold and have and uh they say that gold will always be uh you know a currency that's used you, you're all it's always going to be worth something it's been around for around five thousand years and yep. so why has why has that always been the case? Why has it always been? Is it just because it's shiny? <laughs> no, that's funny. I mean, listen, it doesn't hurt. I mean, like, obviously, the jewelry part of the gold is, is a big part of it. But, you know, industrial uses now have really gone up. There's more than just jewelry. Um, they're using it in, in computers. The gold plating industry has really gone up. Um, they use gold plating in your cars, your electric vehicles. There's also silver in electric vehicles and the batteries. Um, so, you know, gold's industrial uses have really expanded computers. I mean, I could go on and on, um, the heart monitors, but to go to your initial question is why has it been a currency? It's always been a currency because it's so easy to understand. You can test gold and you know the value of it. And in terms of a tradable or fungible item, it's much better than a lot of other things that are out there. You know, people used to trade with cattle. You know, they'd make a deal and then, you know, the person receiving the cattle would take the cattle back and three of the cattle were sick and they would die. Right. I mean, there's there's all these things that can happen with these, you know, these other items. So the nice thing about gold is we know it's sort of an equi equitable transaction. And that's why it's been used for a long time. And an ounce of gold here is worth what an ounce of gold would be worth anywhere in the world. So it's it has that, you know, fungibility. It has it's easy to to understand the value of it. And central banks have been buying it for, for a long time. They hoard it. Um, they're buying a tremendous amount of it right now. 
And it's a great item for a lot of people say like, what is going to hold the price of gold for long term? And I believe because central banks can use it to leverage and it's now in the U.S., it's actually considered a tier one asset. Uh, about four years ago, they changed gold from being a three tier, tier three asset to a tier one asset, which basically means anyone that has it, any big corporations can borrow against gold. Banks can borrow against gold. And that was a major shift. So it's, it's a great mechanism for borrowing. So it's good collateral uh, for, for the other party. So there's just there's so many uses uh, for gold that continue to grow. Um, and so that's why it's something that's always been around. It's steady. And then let's just talk about supply. There's the, all the gold above ground right now can fit only in two and a half uh, Olympic sized swimming pools. <laughs> so there's not that much gold out there. And that's why, in a way, it's sort of the perfect currency. And it's much better than all the fiat that's out there that they can just print and print and print and print. You know, so right. um, I think having a little bit of supply um, is really important. I mean, we see it with, you know, with Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin also, so it has a limited supply. It's been it, one of the reasons that most people believe it's sort of stayed up there uh, is because it has this limited supply uh, to it. So I, I think it's something that will always be around, will always be use, used in some form or another. Uh, and, and it's something that, that people can kind of hang their hat on as being a, a safer type of investment. Yeah, and, and not just gold, but silver also. You touched on it there briefly saying, you know, silver, it's used in batteries. What other industrial uses are there for, for silver? Yeah, I mean, solar panels is a tremendous big, big use. And it's going to be, you know, a, a use that's not going anywhere anytime soon. I mean, you know, we're obviously having energy, energy, you know, doubled in costs uh, from last year to this year. So get, moving towards, you know, EV, moving in the direction of solar, uh, you know, it's a bit, it's a big thing that that's, you know, most states and companies and, and countries are sort of moving towards yeah. uh, kind of all over the world. I mean, China's consuming a tremendous amount for solar panels, uh, but all the electric devices. Another big uh, use for silver is data centers. And mm -hmm. now that everybody's working remotely, like before, you know, companies would just have their data kind of in house. And now people are everywhere. So they have these massive data centers they're building all over the world. And there's a lot of silver that's needed for a lot of those components. Um, so it's it's a it's a it's a highly uh, conductive metal. Uh, when they do like you know ratios of silver like zero to hundred, like how conductive it is, it's almost a hundred. So silver can be used in so much, and it's quite affordable, right? I mean, it's very uh, it's a very affordable metal. So I think the le the the uses industrial uses silver is much more of an industrial metal than gold is, just in terms of the. Uh, the world's perspective but i think mm -hmm. both of these metals have have a lot of traction and i think they you know based on where the prices are today um there's a lot of upside and where they could go wow okay well colin i know you're a busy guy you got a lot of other, other interviews to do today um but i think you've given us a lot of information here to go over um i do suggest that anybody who's interested in this give them a call just talk to them get the free guide and, and learn about this because I think uh, it's a really good idea. Um, I, I have memorized the number. <laughs> I've done this many times. So if you guys want to give them a call, it is 877-646-5347. You can also go to noble uh, noblegoldinvestments.com uh, as well as any of my video where I have an ad running. You can clip in uh, the description or pin comment. There's a link in there. I always make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. Uh, but Colin, I do appreciate you coming by here and taking the time to talk to me. I'm sure that my audience will really appreciate it. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. Have a good day.